When St. John Baptist de La Salle founded Calvert Hall in 1845, he wanted a school that would change young men's lives. He wanted a school where relationships went beyond the school walls. He wanted a school where people felt welcomed for who they were. He wanted Calvert Hall. Calvert Hall. Calvert Hall. Our journey began when we entered the buildings of Calvert Hall in 2018. With its rich history, it wasn't easy to see how we would leave a lasting impact in our four years. One thing we all knew for sure was that we were here to grow into the people we are today and continue the long generation of men of intellect, faith, and integrity. As soon as we got here, we were immediately welcomed by teachers, mentors, and coaches. While some of us arrived as a legacy, with some connections to CHC, others did not. But through events that helped to bond us together as a class, our personal brotherhood was strengthened as the class of 2022. With freshman retreat as one of the first initiations into Calvert Hall, we came to understand how different schools were from us. Just as St. John Baptist de La Salle strived for connections beyond academics, Calvert Hall continued this through the retreat programs. These moments helped to solidify us into the community and build relationships outside of the classroom. But we also got to know so much about Calvert Hall through the past generation. They have taught us what it is like to be a Hallman, and now they are teaching us what it is like to be a graduate. Dear Cardinal alumni, what an adventure it has been. 1,369 days ago, I walked into Kilty Hall and immediately realized this place was far different than anything I had experienced prior. Every time I go through the religion hallway, I'm reminded of Calvert Hall's Alumni Hall of Fame. Here's where we can see all those people who care so greatly about the Calvert Hall community that they continue to support us and have rightfully earned a spot in this hallway. Something that makes Calvert Hall incredible is how much people enjoy and care about it. The number of times that I've been in the state and out of state while wearing a Calvert Hall hoodie or shirt and got stopped by someone telling me that they went here is crazy. But one thing that they all say is how much they enjoyed their time here and wish that it was longer. Personally for me, Calvert Hall has always run deep in my family's history. I've had many family members and very close family friends attend and graduate from the same halls that I walked. One person who went here and has and continues to play a huge role in my life was my dad. Before coming to Calvert Hall, the road that I was heading down was bumpy. There were times when I would get in trouble in middle school, and there were times when I was not being the best version of myself. But one person who believed and supported me along the journey was my dad. Knowing that my dad was someone who no matter what happened to me would be right there next to me was a heartwarming feeling. My dad was a graduate of the class of 1991 and is proud to call himself a Cardinal. Knowing that I attended the same incredible school and walked the same halls as my father is an accomplishment of its own. Though we both attended Calvert Hall, my father and I had very different experiences. My dad has a gold jacket for being the manager for baseball and basketball, and I have multiple letters for all the activities that I've been a part of, including peer ministry, theater as the lighting designer, and CHC TV. This is just the start of me following in my dad's footsteps. Next year, I'll be going to Loyola University, Maryland. Loyola has always had a soft spot in my heart because that is where my parents met. I've seen the incredible things that he has accomplished and done that inspires me to do the same. I'm proud to carry on where he left off and continue to make him happy and proud in everything I do. I can't wait to send him texts telling him all that I have learned through the things he has taught me. Thank you, Dad, for paving the path for me, supporting me, caring for me, and making me into the man I want to be. Love, Ryan Hebler. When the lights go out and leave you standing in the dark In the present, we are recovering from the after effects of COVID-19. But in addition, we focus on how we want to leave Calvert Hall and continue on with our lives. Though our lives may never be the same as they were before coronavirus, this is not a setback. Our wounds of the past serve as a reminder of who we are today. 
Furthermore, this aspect of the journey is particularly special. We have already seen the past and how it has shaped us, and we have yet to see the future. Dear Cardinals, I stand before you, a young man, not only a member of the Calvert Hall Brotherhood, but a changed man as well. All my life I have found myself either being stuck in the memories of the past or worrying about the events of the future, never stopping to be here now in the present. That all changed this school year. I made a huge decision to move on from the sport I had grown up with and loved, lacrosse. But with the loss of a part of my life came the birth of a new life. The rebirth of my passion for serving others was a pivotal moment in my growth this year, as peer ministry enabled me to focus less on myself and the worries that I had, and instead focus on helping those who needed it the most. Through events such as our Thanksgiving food drive, or serving men who were recovering from unfortunate addictions, I was always finding myself focusing in on others' needs, and in a way, it fulfilled my needs as well. There were finally opportunities that were springing into my life that were giving me the chance not only to help others, but help myself and remain in the present moment. Theater was another significant experience this year that enabled me to appreciate the present day and stay in the moment that I was living in. Ever since I got to Calvert Hall, I had this desire to join the theater program, but I never did it. I was worried what people would think. What would they say? Would my friends even like me if I joined? And I consistently put the desire on hold. Things finally changed this year. As lacrosse was no longer playing a major role in my life, I was finally able to take the chance and join in on the arts, which I decided to do. Through some cast changes and a few very lucky situations, I was able to land a minor role in the play, 12 Angry Men. The role was such a positive change for me during this senior year. I was being forced to remain in the present, not being allowed to worry so much about the future, and not given enough time to angst about my mistakes in the past. The experience also taught me a lot about myself, that others' opinions and ideas of who I am do not dictate how I'm going to live my life and view myself. I do. This year and the past four years have been a long journey of growth and change. But one main thing that my experience at Calvert Hall has taught me is to live now. Not to dwell on the past or constantly think about the future, but to appreciate each moment as it is and trust that you can make this moment great. Love. I couldn't climb my way up. I couldn't change who I was. You found me lost, abandoned, broke the sand of rain. I couldn't be the hero lifted me from down low. And you drew my heart out from the crashing waves. That's why the Callaghan saved. You hold me together. We will never know what lies ahead in the future, but it is determined partly by what we choose to do now. We can take in what our own journey has been like and know that we are still connected as the class of 2022. This is a choice we are in control of right now that impacts what happens in the future. Dear Future Cardinals, those who know me would probably classify me as some sort of radical, agent of change, disruption, strong-willed, loud, etc. And I believe these statements to be ratified by my work during my time as a Calvert Hall student. My work with the Black Student Union, Diversity Council, National Honor Society, the list goes on has really changed me as a person, and Calvert Hall as a school. Looking back on my freshman year, the road seemed never ending. The school seemed one large pool of people, most that don't really look like me. I knew no one, to my knowledge had no one with a similar upbringing to mine, and had absolutely no clue where the art studio was. To say the least, I was terrified. But that did not deter me. Instead, it led me to the CHC slogan of buying in. So I did just that. I bought in, dispelled my fear, embraced my voice. I got louder and began my work as a man of faith, intellect, and integrity. And I didn't do it alone. Slowly, my circle grew. The years went on, the future called, and we showed up to the challenge. 
Working with alumni, we were able to change policies that don't fit who we are as a school and who we're working to become. Now, students of color can freely wear their hair and express their culture. We hosted at Calvert Hall's first student-led diversity, equity, and inclusion town hall, establishing a president for future generations to come and establish their voice. The Black Student Union has continued its tradition of establishing a leadership team to continue the works of many generations before them. As a student union, the expectation is that our future generations will continue our annual drive, hosting and organizing space for black students and allies to unite, and to continue to build those personal connections while uplifting one another. Not only that, but our amazing student body will continue to advocate for change across the school and aid in establishing a tradition of peace, love, kindness, and acceptance. I hope that the work I have done over my time as a CHC student will carry on to generations to come and help students become men of intellect, men of faith, and men of integrity. Love. As we end this chapter in our lives that we have written and made every decision for, we must get ready and start a new one. This was just the start of what God has planned for all of us. We know that we can always call Calvert Hall home, and we can always call ourselves Hallman. We are men of intellect. We are men of faith. We are men of integrity. We are the class of 2022. You can